This is the biggest hogfish I have ever seen. What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, and today we've got the biggest hogfish I've ever seen. Today we're gonna find out how much it weighs, get it cleaned up, and check out that face and see if there's any hidden meat in there. Male hogfish have massive heads, which does give them a worse yield. Yield is the whole fish to fillet ratio, what meat you're gonna get off of it when you're done. But this one has a massive body and I feel like we're still gonna get really nice fillets off of it. So let's check it out. Tip of the knife right at that opening, slide all the way down. Ooh, that meat looks so good. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Hogfish has this gorgeous, clean white meat. They eat shellfish and crustaceans. That's what these gnarly teeth are for, is digging in the sand, finding clams and shrimp and crabs, and they break their shells with these gnarly teeth. They use their snout to literally dig around the sand. It's pretty cool. Flip it over. Look at the dope pattern on these hogfish. It resembles coral reefs. It is really beautiful with this feathered dorsal fin to blend in with the coral reefs, which makes them dumber than a box of rocks. They think they're blended in so well, they just sit there when spear fishermen swim up to them. Even worse, if a spear fisherman is approaching them from above, here's your hogfish, here's the spear fisherman approaching from above, they give a slight turn to look at the fisherman, which gives them an easier shot. And look at that, great shot right there. This unit of a hogfish probably made it easy on that spear fisherman. And yes, you guys, the, the prize fish of spear fishing is one of the easier ones to catch. The clean white meat on these hogfish is part of why they are so sought after, one of the trophies of spear fishing. I do personally think that it's a little overhyped. It is a delicious clean white meat that's got a sweet, mild flavor. And I go into details why I think it's a little more overhyped in a video that I do that also goes into greater detail of how to fillet these beautiful fish. A couple of rib bones left in there. Slide your knife right underneath. Easy to pull out. Some membrane right here. We're gonna shave that off gently. On smaller hogfish, you can leave that membrane on. It is edible. When they get larger like this, it is going to be a little bit thicker, a little chewier. I shave it off. All right, we've got our massive hogfish fillets. I wanna see y'all's guesses on how much these fillets weigh. Let's get back to the scale. A lot of fish, as they get bigger, their meat can change color, not hogfish. These guys are snow white, no matter how big they are. Woo, 6.05 pounds. Those are some massive hogfish fillets. All right, the whole fish weighed 13.68. The fillets came out to 6.05. Let's find out how my yield is. What we do is we take 6.05 divided by 13.68, and we got 0.442. So that's a 44% yield. For all of my fishmongers out there, that is a really good yield on a male hogfish. That's often the yield you get on a female hogfish, which has a smaller head. So this one is just such a unit, its body started to outmatch the size of its head. When you get them with those heads that big and they're a little bit smaller fish, that yield can get pretty horrible. It can get into the 30s, which, you know, isn't great when you're trying to buy and resell in a seafood market. Does anybody have a magazine for me to read? Because I think I could read it straight through that skeleton. Hogfish are not known for having cheek meat. Their heads are very bony. In fact, there's only a small strip that's soft. This lip bone is taking up the entire face, especially when it's pushed in like that. All you can feel here is that lip bone. And I imagine that that bone sliding in and out if there is cheek meat there, this bone is going to be making it very small. But I'm, I'm curious, let's see what happens. Before we cut out the cheek meat of your hogfish, you wanna make sure 
that its big old lips are pushed out to make accessing the cheek easier. Wow, it actually feels like there is some meat in there when it's like this. When the face is pushed in, it really doesn't seem like there's anything in there. All right, let's pull it out and let's go diving for some cheeks. All right, you can feel the bone where it becomes soft and it has a slope. We wanna stick our knife down and follow that slope. We're gonna use our knife to pick up that little opening we made. And typically when you're cutting on the cheeks where you get the best leverage is when you slide under the lip. So hogfish is no different. But this is all bone. I mean, look, that's, that's the mechanism right there for that. Whoa, look, you can see straight through to the other side. That's kind of weird. All right, let's separate it right there. That'll give us a really good lift on that cheek. It is a very tiny cheek, and I don't want to miss out on any of the meat, so we're gonna try to use the tip of our knife to go deep in there, pull it all out. All right, just released the last piece and now we can just pull it right off. This cheek does not make a satisfying Velcro noise like grouper cheeks do with all of that membrane in there. Holy smokes. That is a lot bigger of a cheek than I thought this fish had. It feels like there's no cheek meat in there except bones right there. But when you pull it out of the way, all we need is a dozen more and we got a proper sandwich. Let's go see what this weighs. Da 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 da! 0 0.08, heck yeah. That cheek's over an ounce. 16 of those, and you got yourself a good dinner for two. All right, you guys, we got the fillets, cheeks, skeleton, no meat left on those bones. If you want an in-depth video on how to clean a hogfish to leave the bones looking this clean, I have another video that teaches you how to get the collarbone meat off of hogfish and gives you an in-depth detail on how to leave the bones looking this clean when you fillet hogfish. Check it out. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I played with this massive hogfish. Hope you all have a killer day. Later.